Oh, I'm just trying to add up the numbers on the biggest kept secret in Division I college football. Cue it. So one thing I learned during the Ivy League trip is that I think is actually the move in 2021 that we recognize that the game of football is actually a tool. Now, now, now hear, hear me out. We're using the game in order to get into college for free. Now, what happens after college is much of the plan that's not really discussed with a lot of these young athletes, but as we toured the Ivy League throughout this tour, I want to shed some more insight into why you should consider it. You can have an education that ensures not only you love, but your family. I mean, your family's family. Your mother's mother's mother. The Ivy League, both enchanted with its prestige, its history, and its connections to Wall Street, big tech, and the leading energies, and the leading fields in science, technology, engineering, and math, they're actually the move when it comes to playing college football. Let's talk about it more as we took an Ivy League tour, traveled through the East Coast, and I came back wearing a cardigan and glasses. We brought four special athletes with us. Each of these athletes have a GPA of around or higher than a 4.0. As attending Ivy League school, you have to be in excellent academic standing, which isn't hard. You just have to challenge yourself. And just like this thing says behind me, sacrifice. Sacrifice your time in order to make sure you're in high enough academic standing to change not only your life, but your family's. On the trip, we took four athletes. One of them is from the prestigious high school, Modern Day. Commonly known as the number one high school in the nation, Kai plays both running back and defensive back and is an athlete who did it all on this Ivy League tour. Also we have Jalen Jones which is a all Trinity League performer from Santa Margarita High School also in the Trinity League with Modern Day playing both receiver, defensive back, and kick return. This guy's an athlete. He already holds multiple FCS offers. Also we brought in the trick big Nathan Meyer 6'6", 315 pound offensive guard from Rim of the World. If you've never been there in the winter time Next time you go bring your snowboard, it's cold. We've also got Sean Lynn from Orange County, but playing in the prestigious private school of Loyola, which is in LA County. The 6'4", 215 pound Divas in would make some noise in his Ivy trip. All these athletes are able and willing to leave this tour with the opportunity to change their lives through the 40 year plan. And we undoubtedly did make some connections in which were on the top of their recruiting boards. Let's see how this one played out, man. We're from Cali, the first house we're gonna be at is in Philly. We gotta get a Philly cheesesteak. And listen, I'm a vegan, but I even had to break my rules for the cheesesteak. And you know, I love cows. They got some, oh, oh, the fries. The fries are good. I got the Philly cheese steak. And I got. Yeah, man, you got the fries. Yeah, I got the fries. Yeah. We grow out here, man. Okay, so we get the U pin and we meet up with my main man, offensive coordinator, Coach Kevin Morrison. Great guy. He's gonna actually explain a lot about the school and the tour. And uh, we had a great time with them. And we would later on go onto the camp and perform very well. Check this out, man. If you're looking out this way, right, you can see the tall building right there. We'll see more as we go. That way is the Atlantic Ocean. Then you have New Jersey. All right, then the Delaware River cuts off New Jersey from the city of Philadelphia is where that building is right there. And the rest of the big buildings are to the left. 
All right, so that's Philadelphia. And there's another river on this side of Philadelphia, which cuts us off, and then that, then it's Penn. Right. So it goes the ocean, Jersey, the Delaware River, the city of Philadelphia, the river, and then West Philly is it called. So we're in West Philly. That's where we are right now. And so West Philadelphia, born and raised. Exactly. Yes. Exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> Not here tomorrow. We'll get. We'll, we'll do registration right here, and then we'll start the camp here. NFL is a great first job if you can get it. Exactly. But it also stands for what? You guys know what NFL stands for? Not for yeah, life. Not, not for long. Yeah, not exactly. For not for long, not for life. Yeah, because you gotta you better have something to back yourself up. There's not many Tom Brady, matter of fact, how many? One Tom Brady? Yeah. He's 45 years old and everyone else is out of the league before they're 30 years old. Right down here is Ben Franklin, but straight across there, as you guys can see, is the freshman quad. So what's What's so prestigious about the Wharton School of Business, besides guys like Trump? Why is it so prestigious, do you know? Yeah, it's because it's, it's the number one business school in the world because they do a practical application teaching here. So it's not just, here's your book, read it up, thanks guys, good testing, you're out, good to use your degree. Instead, it's very much involved in the practical learning where you actually take the book work and you apply it during the class. Also, it's very much leadership based. So like all of our freshmen sophomores attend a Wharton leadership program. This is a Wharton research building right here. They just that. Part of it was building this, the subway right here. So it's attached as you can go anywhere you want in the city. You jump in a train right there. You have friends up a temple. Everything's one-stop shopping in our place. You know, our training room, our weight room, it's all right there for you. We're getting a new, a new locker room and new meeting rooms. We'll take it right, right here. Everything from burgers, dogs, sushi, uh, you know, the, the burrito rolls, the burrito bowls, the play type bowls, you know, those things. They're all down right in here. All different stations. They got meat stations, they got deli stations, all right here. And then they got the best, for me, as insomnia cookies. You ever heard of that? Uh, yeah. yeah. Before practice, the guys would come in to go up there, get some stuff done, come right downstairs. Like I said, everything's in the building. The weight room actually runs. 120 yards. The whole line is going to stay. You're going to like that. Oh my God. <laughs> this is called the boxing room. All right, so they did a whole heavy bag. Now, when COVID hit, they took them down because they wanted them splashing COVID all over the bags. Next guy splashing more COVID. So put the mitts on, put them up. I got the gloves, and then there's a, we have a whole voiceover thing that comes to the speakers like left, left, right, left, uppercut. And you, you have to mirror it. You gotta keep your elbows up the whole time. And it sounds fun until you're about a minute and a half in and you are yeah. grinding. Yeah. So this science here, it's amazing. Cause what it does, they, they hook up iPads to it. iPad hooks up, you get on here, it tells you to jump. You jump six times and it gives a jump number. It tells you where your deficiencies are. Maybe your right quad, your right ankle, your right hip, left hip, right, where your deficiencies are. Then you actually take your workout and doctor your workout to help your deficiencies. 36 racks in here, there's 30 racks right here. So we have the whole team going on. In our weight room, you lift with a partner, you rack it, it is NASCAR. Our guys are jumping up, taking the weights, get, what do you want on? 250, bang, 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 250's on the plate. Now, you, now he lifts, then he's off, bang, bang. So every 40 seconds, you guys are lifting. You guys are flying. Our weight room is go, 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 go. The thing for I'm looking for is guys who know their weights in the weight room, not how much they lift. Because to be a good football player in college, you need to be in the weight room. And so I only hear about, that. there's no about. There's a, there's a certain amount of weight on the bar, it's math. It's yes, it's 250, or no, it's not. The actual locker room, I think it's Clemson, don't quote me on that. But uh, it's gonna look like that. Um, and then the second floor is gonna be the whole nutrition area, the lounge area, the coach, there's a full team meeting room split up in the other coaches' rooms off to the side for meeting rooms, all out overlooking the city. So it's gonna be amazing. Right. I don't know. Right here, right here is okay. So I uh, MTV Cribs, check out my room. Just a bed. You know what I'm saying? Don't even open all the way. That's how hard we go. That's how big the bed is. <laughs> don't even forget. I don't know what this door is though, to be honest with you. It's a magic back there. Won't open? No, it won't open. That's what kind of makes me nervous. <laughs> My room, we got here. You know, we in Philly. 
We got the love on the wall. Uh, the LED lights, I don't know how to work yet. Cool fire detector, alarm up there. And you go right here, it's yeah. beautiful streets of Philadelphia. Uh, beautiful streets. Nice bed for, you know, fits very good for <laughs> my big body. Yeah. What's up guys, day one of the Ivy League tour. Uh, as you see behind me, that's actually the oldest football stadium in college football. It's like built in 19, I think 1898. So, pretty historic. We're in the campus of UPenn. Uh, we're gonna be showing you guys four positions. We're gonna be traveling this week, we're gonna get to Harvard, we're getting to Yale, we're gonna get to Princeton, we're gonna get to Columbia. So we're in the East Coast. Check out the Ivy League tournament. it up we just had a great camp four of our guys we killed it we'll show you some shots you probably already see them depending on where we cut this video up but the good news is the exciting news is big Nate Meyer 6'6 315 pound offensive guard from rim of the world California it's somewhere up in the mountains he walked away with his first Ivy League offer we're talking about a school that costs what I don't know eighty thousand dollars to get here he can go and study engineering he can go and study medicine he can go and study uh, business the School of Business, Wharton School of Business, number one business school in the nation, guys. So I think our work here is done. We had cheesesteaks. <laughs> We're in the humidity, which, by the way, is the devil. It's hot, but humidity and the heat, forget about it. Uh, that's New York. But, yeah, we're heading that way anyway. Going to Jersey. Our next stop from there, four-hour trek to Boston. I'd say we left here with a W, a win. And, yeah, we're from the West Coast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you get, you get, you get. Appreciate All right, so we're leaving Philly. We're heading up to New Jersey. As during this Ivy League tour, we're traveling up the East Coast. And New Jersey is actually the center point. We're flying out of Newark Airport, which is in New Jersey. And uh, we're going to fly back from there to L.A. So New Jersey is where we're going to have our next Airbnb. We get there. <laughs> I think this place might be haunted, man. Hey, we out here. It's low-key a little bit hot, but, you know, I can rock with it. Hey. This guy, he just got a pen offer. You know, he's just five-star like that. If we perform really well, we can maybe bag an offer. If we bag an offer, I believe it's game over. Always be original, loving, loving, spontaneous, daring yourself. Those are all as high as down here. Chill out. Hey, you don't know what that dog gonna do. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, my fault, OG. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he said, he said, don't come this way, the dog. Oh, it's a Hell, no. Nah. You wanna go first? Or oh, you go first? I think, I think that fool lives down here. And he might be creeping on us while we're sleeping. Oh. What's up there? Oh, look at this. Who's up there? What the fuck? Oh, yeah, yeah. 
God show me the way because the devil's trying to break me down. Midwest is young and restless, restless, might snatch your necklace and next these.